Hey, what up? How are you doing? I'm doing great. I need you guys to do one more, one, one, one thing, just, just one thing, all right? Uh, I need you guys to subscribe, like, and share it with your friends. Uh, and subscribe, uh, blah, 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 some, write something down below in the comments. If like, tell me that I'm a fucking jackass or something. Anyways, that's all I need you from, all I need from you. And watch the damn video. Hello guys, and welcome back to the Let's Play series of video games that we're playing. Design your own mission mod on GTA San Andreas by Jimmy Leopard Mission Pack Sweep Squad, which is a pre- uh, not a prequel, it's it's happening during the events of Hedge of High Life. Uh, we're playing Groove on the Street, Trifling, and the Day Before, let's go! Groove on the Street In the meantime, at Nate's house, as scheduled, real preparation started and for, and for the next five days we were gathering gear for the robbery, testing, rehearsing, making sure we got everything right and that there was no mistakes. Wait, what did you say? Why isn't JT here today? Yeah, same goes for Billy, where are they? JT and Billy have a day off, they are not needed today. Now, to why you're here. I told you we're gonna need two ranchers for the getaway, right? Brian, Ross, Ricky, that's why you're here today. You guys are gonna steal them. I'm not stealing regular ranchers though, but the black bulletproof FBI ones. Where in the hell are we gonna get those from, yo? There was a law enforcement auction held about a week ago in commerce. They auctioned off six law enforcement vehicles that were involved in a drug affair. Among those six, two FBI ranchers, both auctioned off to the same person. I took the liberty to find out who that was, no problem, until, after a bit more digging, I found out that the guy actually sold them the next day. And who did he sold them to? The Grove Street family gang members. Grove Street? They still alive? He buys them cheap like a good citizen and then sells them to a devil dogs of LS. The vehicles are still in groceries. What you'll do is take my car, go there, Brian and Ross take the ranchers, drive them to my safe safe stash place. Ricky follows you in my car, picks you up after you drop off the ranchers and you all come back here. Done. Cool, but the gang members won't just stand there and watch us take the ranchers. You're right. That's why I left you some weapons in the trunk of the my car to be ready. And where is your safe safe stash place located? I wrote you the address on a piece of paper. It's in the car. And I assume you called me here because we need to start working on that new camera. Correct. You and I will be spending a lot of time together the next few days, Tony. You and me are the only engineers in the team, and since... We only have a few days to get it ready, I need your help. It will go a lot quicker. You already know why that camera is crucial in getting that job done, so... Let's get to work, everyone. Let's see which toys foil left us. God, Sean Company sound. Oh, baby, my favorite. Let's go bust some gangbang with motherfuckers, shall we? Oh, of course. Amp, also my favorite. Yo, this allergy part right there is there your is that is that your car? Yeah, why? You some kind of a racer? I am, for real? Me too, homeboy. Really now. I remember you, Ricky. Oh yeah, that's cool, man. What what are you driving? I drive a Uranus. Oh shit, I drove a Uranus a few years ago too. That's a, what's up, yo? Uranus. Your your anus? Huh, who knew you'd have such a good taste in cars, Ross? You know you know what? Oh my shit, I just got subscribed. If this diamond job goes well, maybe we could ride together. For shizzle my n-word, I'm downed. 
Move, get out of. Oh, no, I just ran out two ladies in the row. Oh. And we're here. Rose Street, home. At least it was before I fucked everything up. Anybody seeing the ranchers? I don't see no ranchers, but you know what? I don't see anybody who could stop us from taking them once we find them either. Ross is right, I think we, we, we just might be lucky. Yeah, but we still need to walk around the streets if we want to find the ranchers. And the longer we stay around here, no more, the more risky it becomes. We gotta move now. Find the FBI ranchers before you start attracting attention. Okay. I got this. Uh, I found him. It's that rider. Found him. Let's go. Oh shit! Hey, what the fuck are you doing? It. Way to go, Bross. Wait. Oh, I mean, way to go, Brian. You know they heard her. Oh yeah, these motherfuckers are trying to steal our rides. Get ready, guys. They're coming. Oh shit! We get to shoot. Oh fuck, that's actually a lot. I see you motherfuckers coming coming from behind, you little shit birds. Done. Easy. That might be the last of them, guys. Oh, the old lady is still checking the bushes even after the shooting. Ross, let's, let's hot fire these things. See you at the stash place, guys. Yeah, you keep running. Tire squeaking. Yeehaw! Shit. Quick, drive to the FBI ranch to Nate's house with Notion Dogs. Ah, shit! Why the timer? A anything but the timer. Come on. Come on. Ocean docks, huh? Shit. Yeah, you better open that goddamn gate. You slow, homie. <laughs> Kiss my ass, I wasn't even trying. We should go back to Nate, come on. To be is a continued. Okay. Trifling. Meanwhile, in Nate's house. Now we'll have to wait for a couple of minutes, and if the feedback is positive, we'll move on. Let me ask you something. You told Brian that you and your team never worked for Gallagher. Is that true? Of course it's true, I only work for myself, why do you ask? Just asking. Bone starts ringing. Give me a second, I have to answer this. Go ahead. Hello, it's Mr. Gallagher, I'm calling to tell you about our deal. This, they said the exchange will be in an alleyway across the street from the gas station in Islewood. You'll meet with a guy called Lance Jones. You'll give him the diamond. And he's gonna give you your million bucks. Sounds good. Hey kid, are you good? Yeah, we can continue. Nah, he's not. He's dead. A few minutes later, somewhere in Los Santos. Ooh, I'm never gonna get it. Ow! And you're never gonna get it! At this time! And you're never gonna get it! Ooh, my favorite song. Duh. Ah. Hold up, this is a private area. Mr. Gallagher sent me to give these documents to Mr. Lance Jones. Related to the new job Mr. Gallagher hired him for. I'll bring them to him. Yeah, you do that, Oscar. Boss. These documents just came in for you. One of the Gallagher's men brought it. He said they're f they're for that new job. 
Good. Nine's phone starts ringing. Yeah, did you get the documents? Yes. Good. Listen. Wow. Oh. And you're never gonna get it. I set the, the meeting location between you and the other guy and the other team. Where? All the way across the street from the gas station in Idlewood. Fine with me. The rest is up to you. Hang up. Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Oscar, we're leaving. That did. No, I know my song. Oh, you can still hear it. Meanwhile, in Nate's house. We're back, ranches are ours. Good job. Had any trouble? Nothing. We we, we couldn't handle. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, Ricky, call Billy and tell him that he can, he and you will have fun with the uh, ranches these next few days. Give them a full checkup. See if there's anything that needs fixing or upgrading. Do anything you gotta do for them to be 100% ready for the big day, alright? She had the big day. You got it. Okay, we're done here for today. You're all free to go. Donnie, be sure to come here tomorrow morning so we can continue working on the camera. Okay, see you later. Wait, Brian, I need to talk to you for a minute. I'll be right out, guys. Alright. 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 Oh, yo, what's up, man? Look, I'm not paranoid, but I am, but I am careful. Well, you guys were in... Donnie was acting a bit strange on two occasions. Out of nowhere, he asked me if I told the truth when... Uh, I said that me and my team never worked for Gallagher, as if he thinks I'm lying. Makes no sense why he would even think that at this point. Also, and one other thing. He got a call from someone while he was here. Went into the other room to answer. He didn't want me to hear it for some reason. When I asked him if he was okay, he said yes. And I acted like nothing happened. Now, I don't know what he's going on. What, what, what he's got going on. It may be nothing, but I'll talk to him about it. See you later, man. Yep. In your car with Ross and Donnie. Yeah, let's go kill this guy. What did Foyle want? Funny you ask, because he wanted to talk about you. Why me? That's a good question, man. He said you were acting strange. He was imagining things. Was he? Yeah, Brian, he was. You mentioned you had a phone call that you didn't want to answer in front of him also. You wanna tell me what, it is, what, it, what that is about? Bro, what is he talking about? Man, you need to stop asking me questions like I did something wrong. Answer the goddamn question, Donnie. Who was calling you on the phone? <sighs> My dealer. Your de What? Why do you need a... Wh why do you need a dealer? I've been having serious trouble sleeping for a while now. Never told anyone. So this dealer supplies me with these pills to help me sleep. But I take a lot. That's why I can't go to the pharmacy. They give restricted doses. I'm even doubling the do the dose the doses this shit with Gallagher. Man, why did you just say so? Yeah, bro, we're your homies. I didn't want you to kick me off the team for thinking I was a liability. I can still do my job. We're not kicking you off the team, man. Relax. Ah, shit, I went the wrong way. Oh, fuck. I pressed... Instead of Alt, I pressed uh, the Windows button and I tapped out. GG, Lucas. God damn it. You gotta tell us these things, man. We're enough on the edge as it is. Alright, I'm sorry. Just don't tell Foyle or his guys. You got it. Uh, wait, what? What am I doing? Why am I not following the checkpoints? I'll see you guys later. Later, homie. Yeah, see you.
Can you put yourself in my shoes? Would you have believed him? How about if it was one of your friends who you know you can trust? Really makes you think, don't you, don't it? To be continued. Ah, oh, shit. The day before. A few days later, the day before the robbery. Tomorrow is the big day, gentlemen. It's what we've been preparing for. Everything is ready. We're gonna go through the plan in detail one last time. The atrium opens up at 10 a.m. with the sky diamond on display from from the get-go. But we're not arriving at 10 a.m. Ross, tell us when were we arriving? At noon, because people will be there, so we can blend in the crowd easily. Yes, Rock and Ricky will be parked in the uh, in the ranches across the streets from the atrium. Donnie enters the atrium first, alone, carrying a, my special one of the kind camera. But of course it's not a camera, it's an engineering work of art. I invented the neutralize the security cameras inside the atrium in a new way. When pointed directly into the security camera lens, press the button and the device will freeze the security camera at a particular frame. It means the security camera will work, but it's stuck, showing the st that still frame image. It will remain that way for as long as the system is not reset. They are not gonna be prepared for it because they have never seen something like it. Until now, every, ta every time one needed to neutralize the security cameras, they would either shut them off or spray over them to make them not see a thing. Both of those easily draw attention, most of the security guys, guards. Only glance at the security screens at every once in a while, but even that's enough for them to spot a black screen and realize something is wrong. My solution draws no attention. It switches the security cameras, recording from a moving, moving to a still one in a millisecond. Oh, Jesus, these words. Guards won't re realize the screen is suddenly frozen just by glancing on it. The only drawback is Donnie will have to freeze every camera by one by one. Until they even realize what's happening will be long gone, gentlemen. Donnie will freeze all the cameras and call it out via airpiece when it's when he's done. When it happens, two things will follow simultaneously. They involve Brian and JT. Brian, let's hear you first. What do you do? When Donnie calls calls it out, I'll walk inside the atrium like a normal civilian as well. No weapons on me, but I'll be carrying a smoke grenade carefully hidden. When I get inside, I'll go up to the second floor, settle by the fire alarm button and wait for JT's signal. That's right, and what will you be doing at the same time, JT? The same time I'll hack into the LSPD system and Crash that shit by the time Brian reaches his position and call it out, bruh. Bruh! Correct. Have in mind that this is a crucial part as, as crashing the LSPD system also crashes their emergency and patrol lines along with them. That means the LSPD won't be able to receive emer emergency calls or contact their patrols. It will give us exactly one minute to do three things. Simultaneously, before the LSPD gets their system and lines back up and starts receiving emergency calls about shit going down at the atrium. atrium. Those three things involve Brian, Donnie and Billy. Brian, what do you do? When JT calls it out, I will set off one smoke grenade on the second floor and pull the fire alarm so the crowd inside it, it thinks the atrium thinks something has been in the atrium been, been eh. crowd panics and runs up to the exit when that happens I'll throw the remaining smoke grenades down to the middle of the ground floor the smoke will provide the cover for Donnie as he's gonna steal the diamond precisely as the, at the same time Brian pulls the fire alarm Billy you do what when the fire alarm goes off, I'll run, run to the atrium main entrance. Masked from the head to toe, carrying an 
M4 and kill the two security guys at the entrance before they get inside the building. Right, now as I've told you before, this next part of the plan will potentially be the only problem you have to watch out for, okay? You know there will be a s one security guard at the back entrance also. He was gonna he was gonna be taken care of by Scott, but he won't be there with us, so that guard will enter the atri atrium as soon as the fire alarm goes off. To see where the fire is and secure the building. You'll definitely hear Billy's gunshots on the other side of the building too. When he does, you can bet he will enter the atrium with a gun in his hand. Thing is, we don't know if the smoke will fill the room fast enough and cloud the visibility enough for the guard not to be able to see Brian and Donnie right away. That puts them at risk as they don't won't be alarmed, armed. If the smoke fills the room fast enough, great. Get the diamond and run for the main entrance as fast as possible. If you see the smoke hasn't filled the room enough, then make sure there's distance between you so if the guard spots one of you, you won't spot the other one immediately too. That will give the other one the opportunity to sneak up to the guard and take him down while he's focused on the first one. If you both end up being seen and held at gunpoint, then discreet then discreetly call it out via the earpiece and Billy will bust in and to help you. And lastly, Ricky, when do you when do you and Ross drive up to the atrium meet in the entrance? When we hear Billy start shooting. Right, you stop in front of the entrance. Brian, Donnie and Billy quickly enters the ranchers and you get the fuck out of there as fast as possible. You should be away from there before the first emergency, call, emergency calls start coming in. Rendezvous at my warehouse in Ocean Docks. That's what, that's it. If it all goes exactly as planned, there's one other thing which could happen. When Billy starts shooting, there may be patrols in the air which could get drawn in. But that's what why we got ranchers. They are equipped to keep you guys safe. In that case, you'll need to shake off the patrols before getting to the warehouse. So, if there are any questions, uh, ask now or forever hold your peace, I guess. What about you, fucking Donnie? Perfect. Have a good day, gentlemen. I'll see you tomorrow. To be continued. Damn. Oh, this was uh, Jimmy Leper's sweep, sweep Squad uh, missions. If you guys enjoyed it, like and subscribe, share it with your buddies, and I'll see you guys next time in more missions. Goodbye.